my viewers before you continue watching this video i would want every viewer to please subscribe to my channel because i'm seeing that a lot of people you all are watching my videos but you're not subscribing and uh, i have not been asking this for a long time but now i'm here on this platform and getting a laugh for approximately two years almost two years so um i i want everyone to please subscribe hit that notification bell and uh, also hit the like button if you really like this video because um, you will be getting more and more educational videos, motivational videos with this channel. Good morning, good afternoon and good evening to all my students and my viewers. This is the channel Unconventional Learning and we are back with our next video. My name is Daraksh Aftab and I make videos focusing on English literature and language, mainly of class 11 and 12. I also make motivational videos and general English videos as well. Today's video right. is all about class 11. So if you are a student of class 11 and uh, you are worried or you're not able to understand how will you study for your exams, um, with term 1 when it, will, when it will happen, term 2 when it will happen, all those questions if it is coming in, in, in your head then this video is definitely for you. So please keep watching till the end because uh, we are going to discuss the subject English core of class 11 basically the important questions and the summary of chapter the address all right so what this the address is all about let me quickly start with the book snapshot which is prescribed for both cbsc and uh, jack students crt book so it is um, also used i think in a lot of boards but mainly cbsc and jack they use this book hornbill and snapshot for english core so today we are beginning with chapter two of snapshot which is the address if you are wondering why i'm not uh, teaching you chapter one the summer of the beautiful white horse so i have already made a video on the chapter the link will be there in the description box if not somewhere here then it will be there in the description box go and watch that video if you want to learn about the chapter Coming to the now, address. We understand if we hear the address now from since childhood we have been taught that uh, we always need to remember what our address is. Um, if, if we get lost somewhere, this address part is seriously important to us. So in this chapter we come across a character uh, who is the author herself, Marga Minko. And uh, this is a story about a daughter and a mother, the bond which they have and what happens when her mother passes away. What kind of um, um, thoughts or what kind of memory she has uh, about her mother and why this address plays such an important role in her life, in the author's life. Okay, So we are going to discuss that. Now let me read quickly the, the beginning of the chapter, the, the gist which is given right before the chapter begins. This short story, it's also somewhere on the screen here so you can have a look. This short story is a poignant account of a daughter who goes in search of her mother's belonging after the war in Holland. When she finds them, the objects evoke memories of her earlier life. However, she decides to leave them all behind and resolves to move on. So in this chapter we see that there is one character uh, the author who is Margot Minko himself who is Margot Minko herself now when we know that the chapter is starting from the I point of view which is the narration is happening from the word I then we automatically understand that I is the narrator now it can be the author cannot be the author that depends on what the author has decided but here beforehand I'm telling you I is the narrator that goes unsaid and I is the author also because I ka koi bhi naam mention nahi hai pure story mein. So I is the narrator, okay? She is this uh, girl, she is this daughter whose mother has lost her life in the war and after the war she has come back to the same address in order to get the belongings of her mother. Okay? So um, now who is her mother? What is her mother's name? So her mother's name is Mrs. S. As you proceed with the chapter, the, the narrator's mother's name is Mrs. S, as you can see on the screen here. Now, she goes to the address of a lady, Mrs. Dorling. Okay, there was a lady whose name was Mrs. Dorling. The narrator's mother, which is Mrs. S, will be close friend, hogi, acquaintance, hogi, something like that. And in her house, most of the belongings, which the narrator and his mother had, were in her house, Mrs. Dorling's house. 
so now this narrator she um, goes the the chapter it begins in that manner that uh, she goes and she knocks the door and uh, mrs dorling opens the door and to her surprise to the narrator surprise mrs dorling is uh, behaving very weirdly when she introduces herself saying that i am mrs s daughter and then she says no i cannot talk to you right now and she's about to close the door and during that the narrator sees mrs dorling's clothes with where she was wearing you can see on the screen a green knitted cardigan she was wearing my mother's green knitted cardigan jiska jo wooden button hai wo pale ho chuka tha after a lot of washes so she gets an idea that hum ek sahi address pe aaye hain jo mrs dorling naam ki lady thi unke ghar pe aaye hain aur wo bilkul sahi address hai because in this place i will get all my mother's belonging i don't have my mother right now at least i will get all my mother's belongings here all right so now after that uh, uh, she um tells mrs dorling that nahi meri mummy nahi aayi hai sirf hum wapas aaye hain war se and all those things but mrs dorling refuses to talk to her and she says nahi now i need to uh, i'll talk to you later abhi i'm bahut busy and she closes the door now the narrator in her, in herself is wondering that hum to jagah bilkul sahi aaye hain but this lady is not letting me speak to her so i then she starts recalling the memories the flashback okay and in the next paragraph if you see which starts with the uh, where before she starts recalling the memories the name plate it says uh, darling number 46 so she understand that the lady's name is mrs darling and this house number is number 46 and then she starts recalling the flashback that one day a lot of time before just like in 3 idiots you have seen a lot of movies you have seen that the present is going on lekin suddenly jo scene hai wo past mein switch ho jata hai and we are being shown ki past mein kya hua tha similarly something is happening the same thing is happening here and we are being told how this um, lady this um, how this how the narrator when she has gone back to her house for few days and uh, she has seen that something few things were missing from from her uh, drawing room or dining room and she asks her mother gently that i am not finding this things same as before some things are missing and then it was the first time her mother told her about mrs dorling who was her old acquaintance uh, acquaintance again means someone whom you have a kind of friendship with but not exactly friendship you know the person and uh, you are you deal with the person in times of need or something like that okay so this mrs dorling बिहेव इन सच अ मैनर ये जो जितना भी स्टोरी हम बता रहे हैं अभी जो ये नरेटर बोल रही है कि हम एक टाइम के बारे में आपको बता रहे हैं जब हम एक बार घर गए थे नॉल दिस प्रेजेंट सिचुएशन क्या है नरेटर मिसिस डॉलिंग के घर के बाहर खड़ी है एंड डॉलिंग दरवाजा बंद कर चुकी है ओके दिस इज द प्रेजेंट सिचुएशन बट शी इज रिमेंबरिंग शी इज रिकॉलिंग द इंसिडेंट वेर शी फर्स्ट टाइम इज इंट्रोड्यूस्ड मेंटली एज एन इंट्रोड्यूस्ड इन टॉकिंग टर्म इंट्रोड्यूस्ड uh by her mother but not physically but she is told about mrs dorling and uh, mrs dorling behaved in that manner in in the in the past that uh, after the war things will be displaced things will be here and there so it's better if you if i take all the things from your house and go and keep it safely in my house so this is how she started taking all the things from their house to her own house ठीक है एंड इस चैप्टर में क्या क्या इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन है इफ यू इफ यू वॉन्ट मी टू मेक अ वीडियो ऑन ओनली द इम्पॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन बिकॉज राइट नाउ आई एम गिविंग द समरी इफ यू वॉन्ट मी टू मेक एन वीडियो ऑन इम्पॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन ऑन दिस चैप्टर एंड द एम सी क्यूज प्लीज लेट मी नो बिकॉज दिस चैप्टर कम्स इन टर्म वन सो मोस्टली द क्वेश्चन विल बी बेस्ड इन एन इन इन एन ऑब्जेक्टिव मैनर ओके नाउ कमिंग बैक टू द चैप्टर वी सी दैट मिसिज डॉलिंग गोज अवे and meanwhile i arrived to the station so meanwhile meanwhile means wapas se scene jo hai present pe shift ho gaya hai and ye ab uh, station arrive ki hai and station pe ye soch hi rahi hai ki humko kya karna chahiye ye ye she is recalling all those things war ke pehle jab hum aaye the to same uh, gali tha same um, rasta tha and all these things she is recalling again and again and suddenly in the train she sees mrs dorling so she sees mrs dorling which means she doesn't see a host of mrs dorling she sees that acha mrs dorling and she takes this opportunity she decides that 
जैसे वो मिसेस डॉलिंग को देखती है अगेन फ्लैशबैक आना शुरू हो जाता है एंड देन उसको याद आता है द फर्स्ट टाइम व्हेन शी फिजिकली वाज इंट्रोड्यूस टू मिसेस डॉलिंग एक बार उनके घर में जब वो नीचे उतर के सीढ़ी से आ रही थी नरेटर एंड मिसेस एस जो उसकी मम्मी थी शी सेज आओ बेटा मिलो दिस इज मिसिस डॉलिंग एंड मिसिस डॉलिंग वॉज कैरिंग हैवी सूट केसेस एंड शी वॉज नॉट इवन एबल टू पिक अप so those suitcases were filled with the things which belong to narrator and her mother so she i told you the reason mrs darling queue sab saman leke ja rahi thi because she said ab war mein sab idhar udhar ho jayega hum apne paas safely rakhenge and all these things the narrator is recalling when she is standing right there in the station and seeing mrs darling on the train matlab milke jo mrs darling se aayi hai mrs darling refuse kar di baat karna after that mrs darling apne koi kaam se nikli hai train mein and this narrator is also right there and she is able to see her but mrs darling has no idea okay she is not able to see her now past to recall kar rahi hai narrator in that her mother tells her please remember this address number 46 marconi street as you can see on the screen as well number 46 marconi street so if you are asked in your exam the question what was the address of mrs dorling number 46 marconi not macaroni it's marconi she is standing right there in the station and again she first instance jo recall karti about the the first time she was physically introduced to mrs dorling and then she recalls the second incident jahan wo ye dekh rahi ki hum hostel ya kahin pehle wahan rehte the and after the war har cheez dheere dheere it started becoming normal again but still there was this feeling this emptiness in my heart where i wanted to touch my mother's things feel my mother's things and that's why this is the main reason the situation right now where she had to go and encounter or meet mrs dorling and unke ghar ja ke saman dekhna chahiye right now till here we understood mrs dorling ke ghar narrator jaati hai narrator is the author here marga minko and wo jaati hai unke ghar dekhti hai acha theek hai yahi wo lady hai jo meri mummy ka saman rakhi hai because she sees her mother's green knitted cardigan which mrs dorling is wearing however mrs dorling refuses to speak to her and then she starts recalling those incidents jo uske sath hua hai कैसे मिसेस डॉलिंग के बारे पहले वो सुनी थी कैसे फिजिकली वो मिसेस डॉलिंग से मिली थी पहली बार एंड इसी यही सोचते सोचते वो स्टेशन पहुंच जाती है एंड व्हेन शी रीचेस देयर शी सीज मिसेस डॉलिंग ट्रेन से कहीं जा रही है तो इस मौके का वो फायदा उठाना चाहती थी द नरेटर एंड शी गोज बैक शी रिटर्न टू मिसिस डॉलिंग हाउस क्योंकि उसको पता था कि मिसिस डॉलिंग तो वहां होगी नहीं कोई और हो सकता है जो ये अलाउ कर सकता है कि हम घर अंदर जाए एंड आई सी ऑल माई मदर्स थिंग्स so she goes again and knocks the door and this time 15 year old daughter of mrs darling opens the door so a question can come in your exam what was the age of mrs darling's Who daughter opened the door when the narrator returned to mrs darling's house the second time it was her 15 year old daughter we don't know the name so she opened the door and she says my mother is it runs mean some short work which is done at short duration work so might be उसकी मम्मी कुछ काम करने गई होगी which we already know station से हम लोगों को पता चला है now this narrator did not want to miss this opportunity to enter the house and see all the belongings of her mother so she says excuse me if I come inside and she says okay please come inside do you want some tea and she's sitting there the narrator is sitting there talking to that girl and uh, seeing okay fine ye unki beti and all those things and then suddenly she starts seeing one by one the all those belongings which she knows it belongs to her mother so the first belonging we have already been introduced which was a the green dit cardigan of her mother which had wooden buttons the second belonging which she sees as she is sitting there is that um, just a second Okay so she was sitting in a, uh, so as she followed the girl along the passage she saw a hanuka candle holder it was an old fashioned hanuka candle holder so hanuka is a is a jewish festival which is celebrated and if you can see i will put this hanuka candle holder here on the screen so you get an idea what an what a hanuka candle holder looks like so that was hanging there and she sees so this was the second belonging which the narrator saw about of her mother okay so the first was green knitted cardigan second is the hanuka candle holder which was an old fashioned hanuka candle holder and now when she entered the living room she was horrified because it felt like she knew the room and at the same time she did not know the room